Welcome to Dio.log, the Game of Matters podcast. And today we will have a special episode. Ah, remember guys, we have the next gen, well, current gen uh, consoles arriving now in Malaysia. And this episode, we're going to talk about the PS5. PlayStation 5. PlayStation, the Flash Feed 5, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm, sorry, we're gonna <laughs> talk about the internet router. Please, uh, ladies, this is an essential purchase. Essential. If, your, if your husband asks about it, this is an essential purchase. Uh, introducing the panel, uh, we have guests this time. Uh, long friend of the adult log. Welcome, Burhan. Uh, hello everybody, it's me, Burhan, back from episode yang aku pernah datang sebelum ni. So I'm back and now um, I'm still a writer for a local games website, My Game On. And I also have my own YouTube channel, Cosmic. You can see, you can watch uh, my reviews in English on that channel. And do you have a PS5? I do not have a PS5. So oh. I've, been, <laughs> I've been called to this podcast so that they can humiliate and tease me about it. Daniel, what have you done? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I said we had to get PS5 people with PS5 for this reason. Mm. Ah, never mind. I think we still have a person with PS5. Uh, new to Dialog, but you might have heard of this name, the Kampung Nerd. That's me. Say hello. Hello. Uh, so this is my first time in Dialog. So I hope I'm not doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. The bar is low. Everybody can be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no, I mean the bar is high. We can tolerate stupidity. <laughs> but yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I hope that I'm going to be like a good input of this. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Do you have a PS5? I do. Okay. Uh, at least one of one so far. Uh, and as you've heard, we have Daniel. Hello, I am your one of your three writers on this site, uh, Daniel. Yes, I do have a P- yes, I do have a PS Five, but there is an asterisk on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we will talk about it later. Oh, you might already know about it. And I am Amiro Macronos Ashraf, and I almost did the stupid thing last time and bought a controller, but no, I I thought better. I do not, I cannot afford a PS5 DualSense controller right now. <laughs> I almost did it. I almost did it for the joke. But... How much? Huh? How much is the controller? Just the controller itself. Three hundred. Right now, yes, three hundred and forty-nine. Forty-nine Ooh. ringgit. But there's a like the people import like. Two ninety nine, I guess, around that. Oh. Yeah, import price is two ninety nine. I see, I see. 50, okay, okay, okay. Around fifty ringgit is the Sony local warranty, from what I've gathered. But we'll yeah. talk about that soon. But let's yeah. let's start again. Uh, that's me. How do you get a PS Five? Because you know what, this is twenty twenty one now, and I think everywhere in the world, short year PS Five is still kind of a. <laughs> let's say. Is in short supply. It's either not enough out there or there's too many gone to the scalpel. So how do you get one? Well, uh, funny story is I uh, didn't manage to uh, get my pre-order. It was the first batch. But you could call it like Zeki Allah lah, Zeki Tuhan. I <laughs> <laughs> Because of side of mine, uh, he managed to pre-order two PS5. And yes, two PS5. So uh, one of it, he has a slot. So yeah, I put it in his name. Uh, however, it was, uh, it's not a markup price. Like, because he's a fan, so I have to uh, belanja him some dinner and everything. But that's about it. I'm paying the retail price for the PS5. Nice, nice. Uh and I think but, Daniels should not... Uh, let me, do you have to anything? Yeah, because, but, but what I'm going to say is that oh. I got it on day one. Like, technically, it was... uh Was it 11 December? Was it? Yeah, the 11 December. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the good thing is I got it on day one. 
Right, nice. And yeah, I about to say, Daniel's story have been uh, well chronicled in the last episode of Dio.log, the Gamer Matters podcast. You can check that. <laughs> Uh, if it's on the news feed, uh, we we put the links. We put the links. Don't worry. You can check that later if you haven't. But yeah, well, right. And to those who want the short answer, Daniel, why is the asterisk? Um, this is actually a low unit from the the good folks at Sony because they have trusted us to give a very fair review of their very new uh, next gen console. Um, wow. We shall see about that. The review is still not out, and I'm very afraid to add, <laughs> to, to see what they have to see. Uh, I mean, we we already can see the preview right now. Uh, but yeah, have you? If it's a yeah. if it's a loan PS5, like when you give it back, are they like gonna? Is it gonna enter the market and sold as a new PS5, or is it like a? Is it gonna be kept by them? How does that work? Well, I don't know. Uh, because I so. yeah, yeah mm-hmm. because uh, from what. My experience is the next the next thing they're gonna do it they're gonna load it to another media. Ah, uh, makes, makes sense. Makes sense. Usually it's like that. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. But yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it it kind of circulates until it serves it its purpose lah, and then okay, probably they sell la, it. La, uh, let me let me know when you return that request to my game. Oh, blah. Now that now that's now that's the shady dealings we want to hear. <laughs> Oh yeah, but before you get your PS5 from Daniel, if if, if the circle, uh, if the deal did happen, uh, can you tell what attempts have you made to get secure yourself a PS5 if you do so? Oh, for me, actually, I have not made a single attempt to get a PS5 because I'm one of those people that believe it's not worth buying yet. That the main reason will be I can't afford it. That would be the true reason. <laughs> I simply cannot afford a PS5 right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even if I could, I would not buy it yet because I'm going to wait for the game catalog to grow more. Uh, even though I'm super excited for Demon Souls, I'm a big Souls fan, and that was the game that I really, really wanted to play for so long. But mm-hmm. I thought to myself, I'm going to wait for more games because by the time, uh, let's say I get it, maybe end of this year, Demon mm-hmm. Souls is probably going to be cheaper. There's going to be uh, maybe people selling second-hand copy. I'm probably going to be waiting for second-hand copies to be sold in the next few months and then just simpan that copy. And then when I get my PS5, that's the first game I'm going to play. So for me, I'm thinking when I finally buy it, there's going to be more games. The games that have come out will be cheaper and 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 I probably don't have to go through a flood of human beings to get it. That would be the biggest thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but I'm imagining right now that like, you make a very nice macam dos apa kemainan hidup punya apa casing and then put a glass there <laughs> and then tulis the, the notebook and in case of PS5 break glass oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man that's, that's I think the cool. sweet thing is that I think oh yeah okay maybe I tak pernah attempt but the thing is because uh, I'm a married man and my wife uh, she has been wanting to get me the PS5 So she's thinking like like because I'm a I'm an introvert and I'm a gamer. So like this, I I I often buy her gifts when I can, and she wants to buy gifts for me as well. But because I'm a nerd, so like she doesn't always know what what to buy me. Because like uh, when it comes to games, like I'm already buying my own games. So she she's like she's like, she often buys me a mouse or a keyboard stuff like that. And so when the PS5 came out, she was like, uh, like I want to buy you a PS5. And my response to her was, Good luck. Like that would be good. <laughs> that would be great. Good luck. <laughs> I would love that, but good luck, sayang. Good luck. <laughs> Hi, I'm wife. so honored. <laughs> Hi, Miss uh, One's wife. I have an idea. You know, there's while open PS5 doesn't have any stock. I do know another console that has stock. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you you're changing allegiance. <laughs> This is not the episode for that, man. <laughs> no. Yeah. So yeah, that would be that would be my story. Ah. Uh. Yeah, quite the story. As as for me, it's a matter of I I would get it eventually. Like Gran Turismo Seven will be out in 2022. I have the time and luxury to wait. However, the thing is because uh we uh, like I mostly handle the, the 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 dealings with the people around for media stuff, right? For GameMeters dot com. So I've been sometimes been tempered with, uh, I've uh, you you guys have a PS5 already? 
เออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออ
Man, our our gacha priority is high here. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the console itself. For those who have touched the PS5, how do you find the mimishly, uh, mimishly huge console? <laughs> well, mm. it's huge. It really is huge. Uh, for what I can say is, uh, it's not a console that you want to bring around everywhere. Then mm. if you put it in your TV or, or near your uh, living room and everything, you won't gonna move it anymore because it's <laughs> too huge, too huge. Uh, the amount of space you use, I even can put it in my uh, current TV cabinet. So <laughs> I can't even put it on my table. So I have to to make a platform of it to put it on top of something. <laughs> but then goodness. reason is is being on top of something is being too high. So I have to put it uh, on horizontal to make sure that it's not going to fall down, even though I know the, the stand is good, but I'm not going to take that risk. <laughs> mm. is, it, is it heavy though? Is it heavy? Yeah, Ooh. it is. It's like it... three kilogram? Mm. Oh. Oh. Hampir, yeah. Hampir beras. Hampir a little ki- five kilogram of rice, basically. Oh. But but is it satisfying to slap though? <laughs> you know, slap the rice. Do you want to slap a 3,000 ringgit console? <laughs> I don't <laughs> 4.5 kilogram. <laughs> oh my uh, god! That is li- uh, lah, uh, uh, literally a bag of kilo. rice. Oof. Oh. Okay. And I guess uh, the, the heat sinks have to do a lot of the, the heavy heavy lifting on that. Huh. Yeah. And so. But the good thing what I can say is uh, well, this is not related to the size but somehow related because of the f- huge fan it's so quiet. Yeah, I heard a lot of people praising that. It's a very quiet console, I heard. If you have a PS4 Pro and you will know how loud that console can be. Yeah. Oh, my Final Fantasy? Okay, let me just turn up my the song of my people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, God. how about you, Dino? What, 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 what do you think about the size? Okay, so... Hmm. My... So... Uh, I I want to show you guys so those uh, looking at YouTube can watch the picture because um, my my way of putting the console is not cut. It is uh, I think in the word of Malay kan, very sketchy you got lah. Okay, because I don't think uh, sketchy is a Malay word. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sketchy. It's not a Malay word. Um, <laughs> yeah. um because the. the the placement I put it is because uh, my gaming area eh, is my 1080 my 1080 HD mini TV, and then bawah two would be which would supposed to be the PS4 and the Xbox, while bawah two is supposed to be the, the games and all. But since this thing is too big to be put uh, side by side, I had to put it in the bottom drawer basically for more yeah, air flow. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I can't find the picture, but uh, I think if you guys are watching this on YouTube, we are watching the picture right now. Because... <laughs> Did you put it horizontally or vertically? Uh, horizontally, yeah. Like, barring can oh, you? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay. Because, the same, same me. Because, uh, for some reason, my loner unit, the open stand, is danky. It's very questionable. Like, I don't trust Ooh. him with, with my <laughs> life. <laughs> No, no, the, the stand is janky when you put it horizontal because it's kind of like just snap in behind the plate only. Ah. Why? Yeah, Why? Like, Why? Like, <laughs> just like based on the based on the videos I've seen, it doesn't like really have a how to say a a, a mechanism to lock. It's just like you you slip into it and then it just it just like pegang the thing. It's, it's just like that, yeah, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But because, because if you if you put it vertically, then you can screw the bottom of it. That that's a good thing. Ah, oh, yeah. you screw. Okay. Yeah. For, for All right. So... <laughs> yeah, but horizontally, yeah. You no. Know, you just like slip into the plate and you just do all lah. It's like Oh my <laughs> god! You just pray for the. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let let. Okay. Here's the thing about the, the PS5 design. If you haven't seen the PS5 design, like the proper PS5, not the DE, the, the digital, digital, digital edition, it has an asymmetric bump. Yes. Right? And that is right, why we right. are talking about how it can be, you need a stand to put it horizontally. 
But here's my question. Why didn't they put the disk drive on the other side? So you can put it on top. Hmm, yeah, that is a good question. That's there. the biggest mind boggling because I don't know the technical reasons why they have to do this janky ass way of putting it horizontally rather than the other way around, which is the more intuitive way of doing it. Okay, so also, yeah. um, I might add that I've put the picture in our chat. So uh, I would like to have uh, your reaction, please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, that's it's okay, so then, big. massive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, I'm worried about is it gonna... <laughs> the airflow doesn't look that good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, it, this, it looks, this, looks like a, this looks like a fire hazard waiting to happen. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> it is like... It, it looks kind of interesting because the, the behind that is actually there is a lot of space. It's just my picture. Uh, This is... This is one of the pictures that I will be putting in my review. Uh, nanti lah, I'll, I'll beautify it a bit. <laughs> but yeah, it r- roughly it equates to this. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm going to snap mine. So give me a sec. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, wait. So I just realized. So when you lie, uh, when you put the console horizontally, the disk drive, for the the one with the disk drive, like the physical edition, uh, the disk drive yeah. is at the bottom. That's the problem. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah, that I, I, uh, <laughs> I thought it would be on top. No. Ah, kan? Aduh, that's so weird. That's why we have the conversation about the stand being flimsy. It's it's so hard to to insert the disc. That, I don't know lah. Like, judging from from ah. my perspective, <laughs> it it looks like putting the disc into the the console looks like it's so hard. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Be... Like you have a specific. <laughs> Najmi just put the just posted his picture. He, he has a specific platform just for the console. Yeah, that's the thing. I'll put it on top platform. Because <laughs> I want to put it below that. It doesn't fit even vertically. So, uh, I, I, But I don't want to put it vertically on top of the platform because I, I'm afraid that it's going to fall down. You know what? This My feels goodness. like a rare man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, this is a very specific thing for, for you, for listeners. Rehal, I will put a link in the description somewhere for you to Google it. Man. It's so big. It's such a big console. It, it's, it's memishly big. Betul, yeah. yes, it it's big. It's memishly big. Memishly big. Talking about the disk drive, I honestly doesn't have any problem, but probably because I put it on top of the platform. But meaning if you put it somewhere below then yeah, you might gonna be have, uh, having a hard time putting the disc uh, like yeah. uh, like the nerve <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm imagining <laughs> because I'm imagining the people who put the console in like a if they have let's say they have a big enough TV cabinet so you put it you know like on the underside of the TV you have those holes in the TV cabinet for consoles and DVD players uh, sorry no more DVD players nowadays anyway like Blu-ray players lah katakan Yeah. Like if you're gonna insert the disc into that hole, the the disc is so near to the bottom panel, tau, the floor, and um, yeah, oh, that yeah. feels so awkward to put. Now that you've put it that way, yeah, I I do. Kalau I... macam in Najmi's case, eh, there there's a lot of clearance, tau. There's a lot yeah, of space. Ah, yeah. uh, but like assuming your TV cabinet can fit, it's so unwieldy to put a CD like that. I think we, I think the design of the console, like they primarily wanted it to be a standing console, like they maybe they they designed it specifically to be a standing one, and then that's why they're like, you know what, we also have to design it for horizontal. <laughs> I think the the first design they did was the digital one. It's like if you see, yeah. um, you can clearly see that the dice is like a last minute slap on it. Like, I don't know, this dice. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they, they only designed the. <laughs> They designed the digital right. edition, finish already, it's very symmetrical, very pretty, and, and then somebody from the from the sales department, hey, you guys know or not, CD sales are still doing well, you know, we still need to sell this. Like, ah, damn, okay lah, letak lah, CD drive. <laughs> <laughs> Put so the CD drive lah. You know what, this is so relatable, I think cars, in the car industry, they have like this sort of issues. Like, oh, slap dash lah, okay, forgot about it before, okay, jalan, let's revision, we fix. So, yeah, okay, forward for PS5 Slim. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if you see the design kan, if you you can I think put the slot in inside one of the tempat tu tengah tengah, and they did oh. not because yeah. the final design intricate huh. is that intricate I think because the fence only on top right. 
Yeah. So I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, the but, top part ni. But in my opinion, it's maybe somehow related to the production code because they want to make the production easier because they don't want too many SKU as in too many like they don't want to redesign like two different board. Yeah, yeah, that makes uh-huh. sense. That's sense. Yeah. Yeah, so, so they make the digital one and then like just take some extra space put in the disk drive. So like yeah, exactly. you don't have yeah. to you don't have to make a new framework for the console. Yeah. But uh this don't quote me on this, but I think if I'm not mistaken, the even the digital version have somewhat a space like a, a port to put in the disk drive, but it doesn't work. Oh I'm not sure I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure on that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. There, 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 it's not like a cable or something, but there's a space inside the 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 inside frame but it's not uh, available for to use lah technically but it's there because they're using the same production line I see, yeah I I can see. See. yeah I'm looking at the picture of the digital yeah you can see which I'm like boleh nampak a curvature a bit ah tapi macam like they like someone badly photoshop the punya design to be straightened a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but that being said I don't mind the asymmetric look it's just that I'm baffled that they didn't put it on the other way on top yeah, rather than same. on the bottom but yeah, yeah it's probably some technical stuff that uh, deals with the production where uh, they, they just have to go with this it's okay we fix in ps5 slim don't worry <laughs> PS- p5s <laughs> P5. because they that's know it's true. going to sell that's it <laughs> uh, that, yeah that's true that's true it's going to sell anyway like they, no matter what they make it into as long as it can play new games it's gonna sell I mean, last time they just put a rectangle. We bought it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I they still have off. the... Uh. My PS4 is the first gen PS4. The the real blocky rectangle. Uh, it's t- just a rectangle. But, yeah. but I gotta admit, like, the new design, even though it can be a bit weird, but I like it because it, it, it's it's very daring. Like. The design is quite daring. It's very... It, it's it's quite futuristic in my opinion. This kind it's of design. It's not boring lah. It's a new look because yeah, yes. I don't want to like cheap put on uh as but but as but have very a uh, like simple design something like familiar design. It's a box. It is it is a box. Literally a box. We know that. It's basically it's basically a a a mini fridge. Like, nah, yeah, it needs yeah. to be a box because it's in the name. That's why. Ah, uh, Xbox, kind. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Nah. And then the PS5 is really. If, if, for example, let's say you go to some house, like you saw a PS5 standing there, and you saw, well, this is it's, it's a piece. It's an art piece. Yeah, like correct, correct. <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. You know what? That's true. I just thought of that. Like, if I have a PS5 in my house, and you have relatives or friends coming along. Like they see the PS5, even if they don't play games, they're like, "What that? Uh, same point lah. That looks really cool lah." But if I put an Xbox Series X on my on my uh TV stand or my cabinet, they're like, "Oh, what's that lah? Uh, F air cooler, air freshener." High five, high five. Macam nak buka ekor ni. Ini ini apa dia ni? Kotak apa? Macam nak buka? Yeah, macam nak buka ekor ni ya? Because it's just it's really a rectangle. Yeah, yeah, but but it's not the 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 Xbox. We we gonna call it is familiar design lah for me in my opinion because yeah it it's simple and then if you put PS5 where you go oh this is different this is new yeah correct 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 yeah and oh. what else oh uh talking about hardware how do you find the new controllers the dual sense ah, controllers this is what I want to hear yeah. Oh. I want to go first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, so uh, me and my friends, uh, actually we went to, uh, is it a Mission World? I think Mission World IOI when they announced the first time. So like, we literally lined up just not hang out the thing. Uh, we didn't pre-order whatever, and we got got hold of the controller. So and that is, which I'm like. I think one thing I just don't like about my Xbox is the controller because it's still the same. But with this one, can uh, I, I I think I played Spider Man, but that's it lah. And it was the funnest thing. Which after as I'm playing it right now, for some it's still the same feeling. Like, this controller is something else basically. The punya haptic feedback is I think one of the best in the in the industry right now. And like betul betul. 
this thing uh, you need to play it to to feel it because it is something else definitely something else yeah that's the thing those two uh adaptive trigger and head tip back is you really need to touch it to like feel what is it about okay mm. uh i remember the old comparison we talked about on dialogue before uh Haptic feedback, uh, is it better than HD rumble? Obviously. That that we need that we need a Seran Kagura reflections on PS5 so that we can trust it. We all we <laughs> want to do the hand holding. <laughs> we want to do the hand holding. Come on, come on, Marvelous, give us that. Okay, okay. Now let's see. Until until we do that, <laughs> theoretically, can the dual sense have you get the feeling, the sensation of yes, holding hands? Yes. Okay, okay. Because yes. I think Spider Man can like can apa lah say the feel like you're swinging and can. it macam gives you like a small rumble macam like as you do the vertical though dia macam ada apa feeling the tu lah the the strength tu yang you know. And it would yeah. be much better than whatever the Xbox controllers ah uh, what you say oh, the, the yeah. trigger vibration much better. Yes, because I. Because uh, I've played like shooting game, like Call of Duty. I did the part play the beta, for the zombie beta, last week. Uh, last week, at the time recording, yeah, it it does work as what I've seen last week. Did you got so much? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it is it that thing where like when you shoot the gun that you can feel the trigger pushing back based on the yes. the, the caliber of the yeah. gun? Is that uh-huh. what it is? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah that, I really I can't wait to try that. That's the best part. Uh, okay. Uh, if I want to talk about the, uh, is it adaptive? Yeah, adaptive trigger. <laughs> the best part, mm-hmm. is, for example, because the the most easier example that I can give is Call of Duty because it's a shooting yep. game. In fact, the only shooting game that support PS5 right now, I think. Yes, because yeah. uh, there is another game, Borderlands. Tapi we get to that later after oh, you talk about it. I didn't try Borderlands, but anyway, the good thing is for for. Uh, adaptive trigger is like when you different gun have different type of the system. So if you use, for example, uh, let's say a shotgun, when you press it, it's gonna feel a bit different than you pressing a uh, let's say a machine gun. Or oh, I'm not sure the exact code name of those gun. But for yeah, assault rifle. Yeah, assault rifle. For example, let's say M4, those M4 combine shit and stuff. Right? Those uh, guns gonna feel uh, it's gonna push your finger repeatedly. It's like it's tolak 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 because it, it because the trigger is not from the haptic feedback. It from that it from the the R two and L two button. R two R two. I mean R two. Okay. However, for example, another game that I tried that I use a good one uh, is uh, Immortal Phoenix Rising. I played it on Ooh, yeah. PS 5 So the bow part is when you you when you try to you know tarik the bow right. So uh-huh. you press it on uh, like it's You press my key dalam, okay, and then you're gonna feel the the resistance. You're gonna feel like a bit heavy. Oh wow! Because it's, oh, so it's so like, like the the longer you press the trigger, like it feels like you're pulling the ball lah, the resistance. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, the best part. It's different on every game. How every game use it is different. Okay, so that that makes me curious. Like, okay, so if In a game where there's weapons like bows and guns, like you feel the feedback of those weapons, but how does it get implemented in a game like, let's say, like Daniel mentioned just now, Spider-Man? And what about like Demon Souls? How do how do those games implement the adaptive trigger? Daniel, oh, actually, you be playing, you be playing Demon yeah. Souls. I've been playing Demon Souls a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to hear about Demon Souls. Uh, sadly, Demon Souls doesn't have much of uh, the adaptive trigger support. Really, uh. not much because. I try uh, the because the R2 is for button for heavy attack, right? Mm-hmm. So most of the time I use it like just want to attack and it's very it's a normal R2 lah like, because there's not much resistance of when using that. Uh, in in uh, for the L2, there's a slight like a slight vibration when you manage to deflect enemy attack. But oh, L2 the, is for shield, is it? Yeah, shield. Oh, okay, but, okay. but that's about it. Not much of like, like a uh, Call of Duty be like really truly uh, push your finger. No, it's just like a slight vibration. And that's it. I see. I see. And what uh, what about you, Daniel? What what does it do for Spider Man? The that is trigger. Um, that yeah, is like you for like when you do the the swings, you know, as Mars Morales, you can definitely feel like him gripping the thing. 
macam like Diorang oh. akan The triggers akan like Macam fall flat a bit And then dia naik balik Like Swing tu Fall flat And then when you try again Dia akan uh, like Harden it up a bit It follows oh. the momentum so then, of the swing So like Harder harder uh, yeah. And then uh, Looser yeah. looser looser Okay yeah. Wow But there is one There is one game That doesn't do the first uh, triggers good, which is Borderlands 3. Oh, Because damn. it is, yeah, it is a complaint the card, uh, apa? Yes, it is a complaint already right now that the Borderlands 3 next gen version, the haptic feedback is awful. And I agree. So, yes. mm-hmm. can in Borderlands, can you have this, you know, the weirder guns like the, uh, apa? The son of, uh, what the name? Son of SOW, the SOW guns. You know, they don't cut automatic, so they could handle. Uh, I think they didn't program it right. Like they could handle us doing the long haul. Like it would just vibrate violently for some reason. Oh, oh my maybe, god! Maybe this is the case of Nico. <laughs> maybe Tony forgot to send Randy Pitchfield a PS5, world, so he didn't know he was there. He didn't know it was a feature. Yeah, even Buzz, even Buzznet <laughs> could has good. Uh, feedback because you have to use the butterfly net to catch uh, you know a, a a pizza hot dog whatever. But the Borderlands 3 it just buzz though. It doesn't do the haptic thing much like in Call of Duty, Good which is job, annoying. Apple. Good job. Good job. Uh, <laughs> so so they didn't implement the haptic feedback uh, properly. Just use the default setting and the default setting yes. is horrendous on PS5. Yes. Ah, yep. I see it now. But, but yeah. the, the best thing if you want to try this out, let's say for example if you get PS5 later, I would recommend try to play Astro Bot Play Room. I think that mm. like use 100% of the capabilities of what uh, the DualSense could do. Okay, okay, okay. It, it comes free with the PS5, can't it? Yeah, it comes free with the PS5. Yeah, yeah, definitely gonna try that. I think I, think I have I... a. Can I ask a follow up question regarding the dual sense? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, okay, sure. So, so since since me and Mac, we haven't been able to try it yet. So for for both you guys who have experienced the dual sense, like what do you expect to see in the future? Like how do games continue to implement it? Oh, like now that you've put it, yeah, now that you've felt it in your hands, mostly you like. Uh, have thought of oh I cannot wait to see this game using it or that game using it yeah so what do you think is in the future for the dual sense? Uh, maybe start with uh, tadi Daniel so Najmi start right. Mm-hmm. Good question, but honestly, uh, I can't really imagine what they could do. I know they can do so many things, and uh, especially if you if you play one two switch on the switch version the joy con thing you can like know how many eyes in the Joy-Con like. So hopefully I hope there's something that Sony could do. Uh, for example, let's say uh, right now God of War. Like mm. that, mm. that 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 R2 could I don't know, feels whenever you panggil the, the Leviathan X back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, a good yeah. idea. And then the haptic feedback, the haptic feedback for me is is a cool thing but it's not really much of the difference because what it do is it had it create a level of vibration where where you can feel different type of uh, level of vibration at the same time you have some sort of rhythm so uh, hopefully what i hope sony could do or any other developer could do is bring it into a music game a rhythm oh, game you know what i just thought of The sequel for No Straight Roads could make use exactly, of it. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Yeah. I was just about to go into that. <laughs> Reason, Reason game and and haptic feedback, I think, gonna have a very good combination in terms of create a very fun experience. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. Now, what about you, Daniel? What do you think hmm. is in store for the future of the controller? Oh. Hey, sorry, Mac, for cutting you off. Sorry, sorry, Mac. No, 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 no. I I thought the set move was done. Daniel. <laughs> okay. Okay. I <laughs> think. I yeah. think because Mac- Daniel here is the you one who came up with the Seran Kagura idea. Okay, yeah, okay. That's... Outside of hand holding, okay. what do you want? <laughs> do you want? Okay, I think you know what I want, Mac. GT7 because okay. uh, one thing, one thing that I like about playing uh, on my Xbox right now, besides uh, doing the PS5 review, is the control, the car control because. Uh-huh. Uh, like uh-huh. because Forza Horizon, like on the Xbox, if you lock up the car, you can feel the tire, the, the controller vibrating to let you know that you've messed up the tires on your car. Ooh. If GT7 does that, 
a vez sim racing is has changed Man. Yeah, betul juga. It, it would definitely be be able to be used in racing games. Yeah, nice, for, nice, uh, nice. for context on how Forza Horizon uses the Xbox uh, triggers. You know, you know how Xbox One controllers have like extra vibration motors on the triggers. So basically, mm-hmm. my first time playing Forza Horizon 4 with a controller, I was too afraid to press brakes because it was. <laughs> You know how yeah. when you want to break a car and then you feel oh you you should pump it harder, but you were too afraid oh, yeah. because is it should you put it harder? No, you should put it harder, and then you lock up the brakes. So you shouldn't mm. put it harder. You should slowly press the brake, because you know how you drive cars in real life also apply some force. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that I know it's an arcade game, but that's how the physics goes. So essentially, I I do see that uh, dual sense can make use of like much more detailed handling model because a lot of the things that matters in sim racing is feel like you know how people complain about if you look at sim racing players or people who knows how to race uh to drive racing cars go into sim racing go into video games their biggest complaint is that they can't, cannot feel as much within a car because in a car you drive with your butt apparently <laughs> yeah i heard of that i heard racer okay. saying that Nah. <laughs> so next i outside of the outside of the dual says i hope that the future of gaming chairs we have butt physics <laughs> butt motion feedback <laughs> that's how you sell a gaming chair and it's already looking like a racing chair why not put more put motors on there and actually sell it as a racing chair R- rather than your usual upper slap dash gaming chair gaming quote unquote I think there's a there's a chair that comes with the force feedback support with the uh, steering wheels, right? Is it or sim? I think if I'm not sim mistaken, racing, yeah. The ones that are in sim racing is that the whole the whole rig is yeah, motion, okay. have force feedback, not just the seat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so yeah. I'm specifically asking for butt motors <laughs> rather than ah <laughs> uh, rather than just the the rigging, you know, no, because there are motion full motion ones that. That is way out of budget. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, I would be king shaming uh, race game fans. Okay, no judge <laughs> don't here. But motors, okay, on, on. I mean, <laughs> if you use it for other things, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the controller can be used for other things for if you are creative <laughs> with it. Sure. <laughs> Uh, I don't like when this is going. <laughs> <laughs> so all that though about about going out of budget and uh. Is the dual sense worth the extra price? Because this is like what almost one hundred ringgit more than your usual PS4 controller. Hmm. Like three hundred forty-nine, as you said, or two hundred ninety. Yeah, mm. on its own, no. Like because I think if if it's on its own, it just become a normal X input panel controller without the vibration and all. So you're just like, giving uh, a a PlayStation Xbox controller basically. Tapi If you want to buy another one for you know playing with friends or whatever, when you have finally have the uh, console, then yeah, it is worth the price. Yeah, I because... have to agree with that because mm-hmm. all the features and everything is good for a PlayStation controller. It, I have to say it is way better than DualShock 4 in terms of the ergonomics and the design and the the feel of it. But if you are using it with a PC, I think. For a three fifty ringgit, I don't think it's gonna worth the price. Yeah, but might, might as well just get the, an Xbox controller. It works the same, kind. <laughs> like I did. Yeah. I know. Again, I dodge a bullet. I thought about <laughs> no, because <laughs> because right now in Malaysia, all of the stocks that are available are just the PS5 controllers, and I've seen a lot of reviews <laughs> of people buying the controllers on its own because a that's the only thing they can buy right now. The the console is keep selling out, and b and two. Uh, they want to like have at least part of the PS5. They can use it on PC. Yeah, but, but yeah. then wouldn't that be a waste because you cannot experience all the amazing like uh, adaptive triggers and all that on PC? So like, it's what's the point? Yeah, I don't think that the extra price does not justify using it only on PC. Yeah, especially yeah, right now. But, yeah. but if you still get it, if you still planning on getting a PS5 and you like. Buying it early, so I don't think that's not not gonna be a problem because at least later down the line you're still gonna get the PS5. And you still can use it on PS5. True, mm. true, true. 
Oh yeah, one thing about dual sense, I know Najmi likes the design. Ah, yeah? uh, I'm not a fan of the two tone design. Same. Uh, <laughs> the black bit, you know, the black bit sticking out like on the tip, on the corners, that bothers me. That 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 bothers me every night. I see. <laughs> what does it haunt you in your dreams? I I I, I don't I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like the comparison with a certain YouTubers, uh, a certain VTubers, uh, underwear on that. So oh, that what? what that that bothers me even more every time I see it. No, do not watch. Uh, the VTuber looks okay. Top on the top up. Don't look at the bottom. <laughs> ah. Uh, so, so Najmi, Najmi likes the 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 color tone. Yeah, yeah. I I I kind of understand because is it white and black? So white, especially white. Even if I look at my controller now, it's already have uh, a few marks of. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. But 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 then I, to me, I, I it just it feels different. What what I like about this is like it's different. It's totally different for me. But then I kind of understand why people don't like it, and I understand the reasoning and I somewhat agree but I guess just for per person and I hope I think it, they, uh, Sony is gonna still gonna release like a different type of color soon hmm. the same thing that they did with their do shot for so I think over time it's just gonna you have to make do with white color <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, it I, has hmm. to be white lah to match the console kan but uh, uh, speaking of design I, 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 I one thing I wonder about the controller is it's slightly bigger than do shot for right Yes, it is. How does it feel in the hands? But I, I understand that before this, a lot of people would say that uh, dual shock controllers are good, but uh, Xbox controllers always feel more comfortable. So I see a lot of people saying that. And as myself, who've used both Xbox and PlayStation controllers, sometimes I do feel Xbox controller is a bit more comfortable to use because it's quite big. It feels good in the hand. So, what do you guys think? Is the new dual sense the size? Is it is it better than dual shock yang sebelum ni? How do you think mm, that? Yeah. Hmm, you think? Like, uh, I think it's much more comfortable though, because it is. Uh, I like to say that it is. Uh, they just made, of uh, like some strike to copy uh the Xbox controller a bit, but make it their own. Hence mm-hmm. why the touchpad is different a bit, and then the the buttons are I think frosted, the 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 usual black one, because. I think this is the first controller code. Yeah, the the buttons are frosted. Because frosted oh. because it has there is much like a plastic cover. Because I think your shop for gun is just the normal button. Face button. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Just the plastic. Yeah. Oh, like the Xbox buttons. They have like yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah. I see. I see. I see you. Nice. 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 Okay. 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 But to me, it still feels the same. Like just the look of it. Oh, okay. I mean the the button. However, the the handle. Uh, if you look at those shot for, it's kind of like a two circle and a straight cylinder coming out of that that face button, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, correct. Yeah, correct. yeah. So, so it's not really that comfortable, but I mean it's okay. But once you uh, hold the those hand, there's a slight curve on the side of the face button. Uh like beside the trigger that's make it way more comfortable it is somehow kind of similar to a sport controller the design that is but that what make it feel much more rigid comfortable and i guess somehow way more uh easier to press the trigger so it's more ergonomic lah yeah it is way more ergonomic nice, but the battery nice, life nice. is garbage though <laughs> can i oh, say that the battery what? life is garbage yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah it's better than the shot, but it's not as good as uh the the as more if you put like a battery. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Like it, I think for me, kind of the the Xbox will tahan like three days of use a uh, consistent use while the dual sense two and a half. Probably maximum the yeah, two half. Two yeah. hari dia akan battery for me. Uh, I experiment is uh, around ten to twelve hours or so. Yeah, so yeah, that is a good. That is a good uh, time lah. Ten to twelve hours. Memang that is. I thought you might feel like that. Like compared to Xbox, I think fifteen nah, oh, which yeah. is better. I think I think Xbox the the longest one I got like twenty. If you get oh. it, nah, see, it's like 
Because I think they have taken that to Because yeah, there is yeah. also an issue for Joy Kine as well. Because they run out batteries quickly. Yeah. Also, if if you play something very heavy with that use the features like Astro Playroom, I think I, I experiment that's like around six, seven hours. <laughs> But then it uses a lot of the those features. Yeah. Yeah, see, see. Oh. so so they need to really improve the battery management lah because of the the new features of the controller. Yeah, but but overall it's fine. It's way better than those. Yeah, it's not it's not like it's not abysmally bad kan. It's just yeah. like like it can be improved. Yes, in mm-hmm. version two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. It so... can motors. Bad motors. <laughs> 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 Man, PSVR, but motors included. Yeah. PSVR oh. too. <laughs> mm, now you can feel more. Uh, what's that game again? Immersive. <laughs> yeah, immersive for that 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 that, that, uh, that oh. Bandai Namco game, that VR game, the one you becomes a student oh, or you can be teacher. Yeah, so, yeah. Time <laughs> lesson. Yeah, that's the game. My that's the game. game. <laughs> well, I, haven't, I haven't tried that with PS5 actually. You should try that with PS5 yeah. Maybe Ooh. they have some kind of update Ooh. For, for adaptive triggers Adaptive triggers <laughs> Man, now you can feel hands Especially right now the, You can touch hands What's the motto for for PS5? Play has no limit ah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, we've we've gone through the hardware on all the touchy feelings about the PS5. How about the experience inside the console? As in the the user experience, like how inside. has the the <laughs> software, how the menus, the system menus, how is it? Uh, <laughs> I know there's a lot to unpack. So we, Let's go. I I don't Let's know where to start. Basic. Okay. okay, we start the basic the UI. Mm. It is a downgrade from the from the PS4. It is a garbage that probably marketing team forces upon the UX team to do. Oh, <laughs> I have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And I I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, so explain why. Because um I think they wanted to like showcase because uh in the previous. Gen, oh, previous gen to PS4, so then <laughs> um, the day the boxes can you can see the games and all right, you can put yeah. in uh, you can see like drop down menus now, everything is all singular, and mm. then they will like every hover over a game, it will showcase uh like a game art or whatever, uh-huh. it will play songs if it it call out other songs that was built in, you can you play that as well. So like the PS3. But, Is it? Yeah, like the PS3. Oh yes. God, damn it! Throwback. Shout out to the PS3. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tapi here's the here's the caveat. Uh-huh. Let's say you are done with that game. Oh, let's say I've done with the Black Ops beta lah. I'll delete it. It doesn't go away. I don't know why. why? My version of the uh, my version of the uh, PS5 in your uh, UI doesn't go doesn't throw away the games that have deleted. Oh damn! Why? Because I've asked our friends at um. Uh, Kakuku Chopre, uh, one of the writers, ah, uh, uh, Danny Z, he, his version is fine. The the YouTuber, that's no problem. But my one, my lunar version has that problem. Like, <sighs> that huh. thing I had, I ada juga. I have that problem too. But it only happen if you to me lah. To me is if you back up the game inside the external PS4 games. Hmm. When I delete the game, I put in the the I still put in the uh, external. Uh, I I put out the, the external. The game is still there, but it it asks you to download it. Oh, and that happens to me for for extended uh, storage game, which is PS4 game. But then after I after a while, I install new game and everything is gone already. Yeah, I think like, I install like since Ru baru hilang. It's like another game just. Take its place, so it is so it is peculiar lah to say the least. Because that is, if they haven't fixed it in the, is there a patch since launch? That they should really, they should really fix that because it might be an eyesore, and I already complained already. <laughs> yeah, that that sounds like a feasible issue. 
It's just a yeah. matter of, oh no, ship it, ship it, ship it. It's okay. We we fix it in update. Because yeah, yeah. you know it, how, it, uh, it, you know how, yeah, like, it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's the case of, you know, how you, is, you delete your files on PC, but it's technically still in storage. It just deletes the address. It's the same kind yeah. of logic lah, from my point yeah, of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's me. <laughs> yeah, uh, the UI, there's still a lot of things that can be fixed uh, exactly in terms of browsing. It has no folder. Oh uh, no! Yeah, that's the yeah. That is my issue. So there's no folder. So what? You gotta have a long list of games. Yeah. Some of them you don't already uninstall. You still there. Install a lot of the game anyway. So. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't talked about that. Put so, in we talk about UI first. <laughs> and the weird thing about not having folders is they already did that right in PS3. Like, why not just <laughs> yeah. bring that back? You could make folders for the PS3, so... Yeah, you can make folders not? as well. Yeah, why not re-implement that? Yeah, like, like I said, Eddie, this is, I think the marketing team, like, say, they have to do like this. But what about folders? No, screw that. <laughs> and my only gripe, like, the, the only things... Can, can I say this? I didn't... <laughs> They don't care. They don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the things to shut it down. It's such a oh. thing to do in the PS5. Huh? Yes. I hate that so much. So, huh? okay. Uh, I'll, I'll explain for it. For this. So, let's be relaxed. So, to close it <laughs> down, you have to press. Can, uh, back in the PS4, you, you just hold the PlayStation button. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. it will go on the pop-up one. Right? Oh, do you want to shut down whatever? Uh-huh. Yes. Well, it, yeah, that's how you do it. Tapi, in the new one, you have to open a widget. And then you have to scroll to the power button. And then you have to press that. And then bar will shut down. It's like extra steps. Why oh, do you make really such like... an essential thing <laughs> so cumbersome? <laughs> that's right. Because... If you hold the PS button now, it's just going to go to the home page. That's it. Hold. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> but yeah, holding the PS yeah. button brings you to the home page. That's it. Yeah. To the home page. That's it. But what? if you bring the activity card, the thing they call the activity card thing, you have to pass it once. And the activity card as well contains the things that you want to shut down your uh, PS5 and everything. So what? you have to press it once. <laughs> And then you you need to scroll all the way to the left to the to the power button, but you can skip it. That if you if you scroll to the left side, but then if you open your activity card something else, it's gonna take back you to the original place that you left your uh cursor. Oh my god! Okay, for those listening who might have skipped a lot or uh, lost their way on all the 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 steps being told before. The fact that there are multiple steps to just turn off the console is already baffling. <laughs> I think that's the takeaway. Is it? Is it the same steps to put it in sleep mode? Yes. Oh. Yes. Everything last month. Everything there. Okay. How about shutting it down with just uh, hold on? It doesn't have buttons on the console itself, right? It does. It does. Yeah. You can. You can press that thing, but then you have, you put it somewhere. You have to stand up and press the power button. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. I agree. That's you, a big you, deal. <laughs> can you imagine that being a complaint eh, eh, from the perspective of a gamer who had a PS One? Eh, that in the future, the complaint is that we have to stand up, you know, to power the console. <laughs> like, can you believe that? And the way you are, uh, why do you complain about that? Because do we have yet the controller within the system is too long? You have five instead of one step. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh-uh. They is so different than the PS4. It's making you need you need to relearn everything that you used to the on the PS4 or on the PS5. Mm-hmm. Oh. If you have Xbox One and Xbox Series, those two share the same UI. It's the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you change, if you upgrade to Series X or S from the One Series, from the One, I mean, and everything is gonna be the same. Mm-hmm. What different here is the UI is making you look to learn a new UI, a new stuff you need <laughs> you to be asal kan diri dengan benda baru. Ah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and oh, then, hmm. I'm going to compare here, anak marah ni. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead. Look, go look, on. Look, look, uh, I mean, <laughs> to, 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 uh, 
Apa, apa? Okay, okay. Continue you. Continue yeah. your What the hell uh. that we can't change the okay button to circle? Ah, I was I going know. to go for that. I was, I, I was going to ask. Can relate. Okay. <laughs> so, the the question I have in mind is how do you guys copy with the, the, the change of button layouts? Because now everybody Terrible. has to... We are in the world where the button layout is now standardized. X is confirmed and circle is cancelled this is a it, big problem with in japan because <laughs> because of the cultural implications of circle being correct over there so th- i think that that's another pro- uh, problem a uh, hurdle for them but us in asia we have the di- another different problem of we don't know if it's circle or x sometimes so, to confirm because some kids adapt to our standards some don't but now everything is like oh, yeah, uh, yeah x is circle x, circle x is confirmed circle is cancelled but so oh, it's, so it's not it's not like so so macam they applied this to the menus but game still equal region right itu yang nak masuk tu no 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 it's all access no no oh, it it the okay button was a go what game what game <laughs> motor finish rising is it dark soul game. oh finish rising yeah, yeah. Hey, okay button is a go Really? So, <laughs> yes. So, whenever I'm going to the menu with all the emotor finish rising stuff, I get confused. <laughs> so, you're telling me yeah. that the the one thing that they have tried to fix, the because we are we in Asia was we was always in limbo, and not not figuring out which button is confirmed and cancel is still not solved. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they made the problem worse, lah. They made the problem. <laughs> Man, ah, uh, I thought it was so. I thought the whole bit is that we are coping with we cannot press circle to confirm. That's it because everything is now standard. But what? I no, actually we still didn't know problem. that. I actually didn't know that there was no option. I thought, much um, oh, if you're if you're an Asian PlayStation user, you can go into a, some kind of setting menu and and reverse the controls. You can still go along. Not anymore. Like, <laughs> it, it 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 permanently changed to X is yes. Circle is no. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Do, uh, do you guys try to uh, press circle a lot and bring up that prompt saying X is the new ca- new confirm? Wait, does it mm. remind you? Does it remind you that? No. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I guess that's a Japanese thing then because I've, I've seen the early back in the launch of the PS5 in Japan. Since oh. This is a new thing for them, right? Uh, yeah, this there, is definitely there, for them. There's a notification saying, "Oh, uh, we've now changed the confirm buttons." That's basically oh. the gist of it. So if you keep on pressing circle to confirm, <laughs> uh, X X. <laughs> like I think because they know, oh, you reach, you can read English, right? So you know the change. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought this problem would be solved at this at the no. cost, but no. <laughs> uh, sh- and any other kids with this the were. Who, which still stubbornly stick with circle that you guys found? Or is it just Immortals for now? I haven't found... Uh, for the first party, Watch... everything yet. Yeah. Yeah. For Watch Dogs, it's already changed to, you know, uh, Axe So that's okay. Uh. Okay. I... Because it's, it is there. I think because the next gen version, they don't have fixed, so they don't have that prompt problem. Um, yeah, mostly, like, the games I've tested, uh, you know... Is the X so tired of the circle lah, which is sad. sad. I'm not sure. Uh, I think some PS4 game are still having that problem. Oh yeah, it doesn't affect legacy no, games. So oh, that's yeah. still another. <laughs> uh, I think I'm interested in seeing how is it going to be for future Japanese games because right now there's there's no like exclusive PS5 Japanese made game yet, right? Like no JRPGs. For PS5 has been released yet, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm... I'm... Capcom, Devil May Cry 5 is... Ah, (laughs) there you go. Ah. Yeah, Capcom, Devil May Cry 5, special edition for PS5, yeah. Does that... Anyone tried that yet? X. Oh, X also. Ah, there you go. That's it. Our future has been changed forever. (laughs) Uh, New normal, you know? New normal? (laughs) Uh, New normal. (laughs) Okay, I I, I can live with the new normal. But the thing is, we still have the baggage of the limbo before. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, to learn. Uh, look, I don't mind now. I mean, I can just impulsively 
uh, revert myself. Whether is it? Oh, this game is a circle game. Okay, this game is a sex game. Okay, but yeah, it still sucks. Uh, I appreciate uh, the Witcher Three. The Witcher Three actually had an option to reverse it on the PS4. So if you play, regardless of where you play the game, you can actually just go to the menu and select whether you want X or or circle to be yes. The Witcher Three actually had that. But that that is the inside the game, right? Uh, yeah, but that's only for the game, lah. That's like I game. I wish more games would have that. That's such a good thing to have. Oh, you know what? You reminded me of. Uh, remember Kingdoms of Amalo re reckoning the new remaster of that old game? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay, here's the weird thing. I got a review copy for Region Two for Europe. I played uh-huh. okay. my Asian account. Confirm okay. is circle on that one. Wow. Uh-huh. Because it knows I'm in Asia. Yeah, I mean the account is from Asia account. But if I uh, on Region Two account, does it X? Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. I think that's oh, so the some one games game can that detect I, lah. I the I want to say some games, but that's the only example that I've encountered. <laughs> I don't know if that there's a possibility for to do that, but I don't think developers are either bothered or uh found it to be something beneficial to be to add. Hmm. Uh, and again, Asia market is small, so our complaints sometimes don't reach them. So, uh. Yeah, but that one is bad to developer lah. Like for example, the Witcher uh. things, right? Mm-hmm. So if you if the developer feels that it, it need have that, so they, they need to add that line of code, and then maybe they add. Yeah. It, then you have to live with it. Uh. Yeah, that's true. True. It's up to the developers. Yeah. Now. Yeah. At least first party set the the right example. Lah. They they will follow yeah. whatever the standard is. Yeah. SOP. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they have to follow SOP. They, they are the. Yeah, I don't know where to go with this comparison. Let's talk about <laughs> games, video games. Ah, oh. uh, we've already mentioned here and there about the games we've played. Uh, you guys played. I don't play it. I'm just seeing. <laughs> I, I'm just okay. Here's the thing. I've been watching PS5 gameplay from video from YouTube and from just looking at videos. It just looks like a fancy video game. I don't feel it. Uh, do you guys feel the PS5 games, either from the launch titles or the games you guys have tested, both Najmi and Daniel, uh, mm-hmm. do you feel the leap into next gen yet? Is it there yet? Or, or is still launch, uh, it's still early days? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, this is a very I think it's, general... I think it's... Yeah, I think it's still mm-hmm. in the early days because I am impressed, super impressed with uh, ray tracing city FPS on Spider Man. Uh, Watch Dogs is just 30 FPS, which is like a remnant of last gen. Uh, Borderlands is 30 FPS, tapi the punya resolution is garbage. <laughs> tapi uh, what do you want to do about that? Uh, Racing game, I've tried. Uh, I've tried Project Cars 3. Because uh, one of the issues of Project Cars 3 uh, was that there was screen tearing on the PlayStation version. But thanks to the PS5, there's no more screen tearing. Da. It's just solid. It's oh, screen. nice. I, I think that's the same issue with uh, Days Gone, ta, Silap, because there's also 60 frames. Nice, and, Days Gone 60 FPS. Yeah, yeah Days Gone 60 yeah, FPS. Man. Yeah, I, I, I think I downloaded it from the PlayStation Plus collection because, you know, the word if you say the game 60 fps okay i'll try it uh what what else i've tried playing as well uh, no let me open my notebook i've written there grand theft auto oh the ssd because since they are using a new ssd for loading uh from salunia for playstation 4 yeah uh, the loading time for gta online is like Two to four minutes, oh, yeah, depending yeah. on a good day. <laughs> now it's just a I minute. Mean, now, solidly, you go like a minute je, every time, <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> now it's so fast, like it's a minute. Je. It's so fast, but it's still until, a uh, minute. <laughs> uh, oh, BGTA uh, will still have the, the PS5 upgrade still coming. So Yeah, it's not the PS5 upgrade. Yeah, so that, it's already that fast. So that's okay. good. Breakpoint, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, I had issues with the game back on the PS4 because 30 frames, it it lags because it is an online-only game. 
Tapi with the with this version, I think I think Ubisoft what are uh, the patch code that came with the uh, latest season that runs it on 60 frames and no lag. How Now the game I is fun. S- How dare you mention Ghost Recon Breakpoint? <laughs> ah, I am eating your I am eating hearts uh, hearts for and Yakuza Seven sixty frames. Woo! Oh, okay. Ah, uh, the do the skyline. I mean the the background it uh, looks nicer because on P- base PS4 it's kind of rough. Understand? Nah, this yeah, the, the PlayStation the PS5 version is just mm, cantik. Ah, uh, no shimmering in, at the Yokohama no? Sea. Oh, oh, nice. That's the one thing that bothered yeah. me. Is the sea where I hope the next Yakuza <laughs> will have that Gundam standing on there. <laughs> It's literally oh, that location. Yeah. <laughs> But then, kan? that's it. Not yet. Hopefully, Not next yet. time. Yakuza... We don't have the power. Not <laughs> limited by the technology of their time. <laughs> Look, Yakuza like a dragon too. Kasuga rides the Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Gundam is the same. <laughs> Oh, it could work. It could work. It could work. Delivery, Yoroshiko, and and then the Gundam team, please. Yeah, lah. Because come on, come on, Sega. You already had Dragon Quest. That's a bad. That's a Namco punya uh, IP. My expert bawa Gundam terus. <laughs> uh, that's me. What is? Yeah? Hmm. The Dragon Quest is Square Enix, right? Train is it? Oh my god! Yeah. Next step again. <laughs> I almost because uh, back when I have to review that game, I almost put the Nemco and then I think back on because Square Enix, ah uh-uh. ah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. The request is Square Enix, correct? Yeah. I oh I've oh I've made the same mistake as I did two years ago, Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. What games did you test? Uh, not quite a lot, but a few. Uh, I play. I have like three. I mean, not three lah. Not including digital. I have like four. Uh, PS5 game, which is Demon Souls, Devil May Cry Five Special Edition, Sackboy Boy Big Adventure, and Marvel Spider-Man Man, more or less. From what I can say, if your the question is, is it like the next gen is worth the next gen? I would say yes and no. Because <laughs> okay. If, if if you, for example, if you play uh, Spider-Man My Modelers, visually, it looks amazing. The 60 ray tracing, I think it looks good. It really is good. But then if you play on PS4, because uh, before we got the review code on the PS4 version, it's already looking good. I mean, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's beautiful already. But if you add the add the PS5 version, it's, it's going to be like, From let's say high to ultra setting of the if you have a PC <laughs> setting graphic setting everything right, it's already good and it's not that much of a difference if you have a better thing yeah yeah the reflection is there it's good, but for for example uh uh set boy the visually still good, looks good as well, and what I can say is the only exclusive right now that is worth uh, it is Demon's Soul but then Demon's Soul I would say that's game is not for everybody <laughs> usually it's yeah. yeah usually it's already good and I would, but I would say it's like the best visual game because De- Demon's Soul yeah you know it's a it's a Souls game it's not uh, really focused on the cutscene of the like mind more or less and everything Mm-mm. even Mecha 5 Special Edition it's damn good looking game But then it's a technically it's a remaster game. <laughs> so in, if the question is, is it worth right now? Play, uh, what they the PS5 can offer in term of visual the games? That is part of a no because you don't really have anything big coming. Uh, as in, you don't have really big things right now. More stuff coming, but not now. Yeah, so but, yeah. since Najmi is someone like you've played, uh, let's say games like Demon Soul, which is an exclusive for the PS5. Yeah. Like when you're playing it, do you have that feeling that oh, this game could never have been done on PS4? Like this has to be a PS5 game. Did you ever feel that way? The game is one to one direct copy from the PS3 version. As <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so let's say let's say just visually speaking lah, could those visuals have been done on the PS4? I, think I mean, I mean, yeah. yeah. You look at games like 
like really beautiful games like the last of us part 2 yeah. um like go to <laughs> shima right so when you look at games like that and then you look at demon souls do you think that oh you know if they maybe tone it down a bit they could have also made it for ps4 does it still feel like yeah, that yeah it feels like that ah okay okay, okay. because i tried to play most of the most of the time i played it on 1080p because i too lazy to read out my uh, elgato and everything but then when i put it on 4k yes it's look beautiful in 4k uh some game have 64 k and it's like like for uh my smaller for example it's look very very good but then really if you if you want to like get it day one and and want to experience that really visually amazing games i would say not now because most of the game like my smallest is on ps4 it already looks already good mm-hmm. but one thing that i like about ps5 is this is like it's kind of like a game changer and the yes part of on on my answer is the loading time ah uh, like they say ssd exactly the yeah. ssd works very well literally when you load the game for example i load uh my modelers but there's a loading you know that that uh, static image of spider-man uh when it's loading on the ps4 when you play the uh-huh. ps4 shape, yeah uh-huh. on ps5 there's no that screen at all <laughs> yeah definitely. So it's so fast that that they can skip the entire screen even the faster <laughs> Yeah, you in the the subway thing? The, no, you press the map. You hold the X button to go to the fast server, and that's it. You already there. Oh, so fast. The the loading screen is so fast. It's so so good. That is. Like- oh yeah, I just I just thought of one other game I can ask about. So so Najmi, you played Resident Evil Seven, right? Okay, so like you 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 also recently played the if I'm not mistaken, you played the RE Village uh, PS5 mm-hmm. demo. Was it how was it visually that demo? Because I saw it, I saw you streaming it, but I couldn't see it with my own eyeballs in front of me. Did it did it appear like a big leap? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Because but then you you also tried it, Daniel. Yeah, I did. Ah, uh, so so how does it feel? Like 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 I know the RE engine is amazing, but but did they did they like? polish it even further for PS5 or does it still feel like oh it's just Resident Evil 7 in a different place um yeah it looks better at some places tapi macam like I think re- they don't bar- like last last weekend they announced that it's coming to PS4 as well yeah PS4 yeah for an Xbox one uh-huh so like they I pre oh I can't believe I have to see this now that tapi I think they have to scale back the graphics because it looks nice. Tapi I think it could be have been better. Is it because they are they are building it to make sure it also runs on 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 last gen? Is that why? Yes, that's because why? Yeah. Uh, definitely like because uh, if you remember the the early trailers kan, kan masa during the PS5 lah like, they showcase. RE, RE Village as well and then it looks yeah. janky as all heck yeah the the, yeah. the the trailer itself had low frame rate <laughs> yeah. so yeah it looks yeah because I tried it on my 1080p punya TV and it looks amazing already tapi tu lah you I can feel like oh they had to too bad they had to you know, cut some corners for the next, last gen mm. but itulah it's I we we kind of have reached the peak of video gaming graphic tau. I mean, like how well you want to make in life like how much of reflection of things that you want to make in the video game that somehow is making it feels doesn't look lifelike but too reflectiony things because of the interesting and stuff. Oh yeah, everybody is like reflection porn. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I yes, I agree with that. You know, I think. Yeah, I, I agree with Najmi. I think actually, can like when I look at games, like because we have to speak from consoles, lah. Because consoles actually represent the true, the true, much like, um, consumer level technology that everyone can get. And we cannot look at PC gaming. Like when I see something like The Last of Us Part Two, I see something like Red Dead Redemption Two running on PS4. I, I really honestly believe like this is it. I think we've peaked when it comes to 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 graphics, like. It doesn't need to be more realistic than this anymore. This is good enough. Like, True. they're much like that. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen that picture. Ada orang buat yang 
like the evolution of 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 the amount of triangles in character models in gaming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind. Of, so you start in PS1, there's like like let's say a hundred triangles, and then PS2 era is like four hundred triangles, and there are thousand triangles. So now we're now at that point, like the characters have like millions of triangles, and if you add a few thousand more, it doesn't really make it look better. <laughs> so okay. yeah, maybe we've already reached that point. So that's why like. The focus now, instead of making things look better, it's about lighting now, lah. Like, ray tracing, uh, uh, shadows, stuff like that. So for me, like PS5, hardware-wise for graphics, I don't mind like games looking more or less the same as high high quality PS4 games because because that's still good looking. I think the focus now should definitely be optimization for performance, like 60 FPS. Uh, being able to to render at 4K and not lose any frames, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Because as of right now, not every PS5 game have 4K 60. Some of it, uh, while for example, my Morales, uh, the fidelity is like 4K 30 mode. Unless if if you put uh the ray tracing, uh ray tracing and uh what is the ray tracing performance mode? Yes. Then you mm-hmm. get like 4 k you see, but then there's a, a big cut corner here and there because I don't think well, if you put it on beside like uh, 30 series uh, PC, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think PS5 has reached that that level yet. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know what's the future of next gen games? I I want to see like new features. What? Uh, What? No clipping. <laughs> Loading that properly folded, a properly reacts to the environment. Hands that do not go into walls. That's gonna be a whole lot of crazy uh work that's being put out if they are attempting to do that. But hey, if if the graphical fidelity has peaked, we can we can go into the other mountain to climb. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Put my memo and send it to Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those things, those that makes it janky, you no? Know, because everything they look okay, but then when they move it, oh lah, oh that's that's a little bit off. That's the small small things that kind of add up that kind of ruins the image. But if you, uh, if you like take a screenshot, show it to people. Wow, this is amazing video games. Looks real. Yeah, and yeah. then it starts to move like oh 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 oh, oh that's a video game. <laughs> So video game. <laughs> how how big visually a game that you want right now? Because if you, for example, that uh, Bohan already said, uh, the Last of Us Part Two is already, and I have agree, it's look already so good. So what yeah. can you in term of visual in the next gen that they can do? If I, if I, my opinion in my mind, I, all I could think is like more immersive world in term of big huge world. That's it. I think that was that was the kind of thing that I believe personally Cyberpunk was supposed to like revolutionize now. the next level. Yeah. Cyberpunk was going to be that like macam we've reached let's say we've reached the peak of visuals. What's next was like Najmi said bigger and better worlds not just empty open worlds and we thought I think a lot of people like me believe that Cyberpunk was going to be that big change like finally you know <laughs> uh, a PS5 game a PC game that That has this really big and interesting world, and you can always expect something cool to happen. But looks like we're gonna have to wait for another game to do that. Uh, for now, for <laughs> for now, we have Hitman. <laughs> yeah, for now we have Hitman. Look, that's I'm the, I'm, that's I'm, the peak. I'm excited for games that use that's gonna use like elaborate AI systems, like systems that keep tracks of different, uh, more, uh, we say more characters. More systems, more things to I keep think, track of. I think a good game that was recently released, uh, and not for the PS5, uh, a current gen game uh, that really showcased what current gen can do would be the medium. So, like I myself, I've not yeah. played the medium yet. Tapi it's a game where where they're using the hardware to render simultaneously two types of environment, two completely different <laughs> worlds with completely different assets now, and it is it's rendering at the same time. So I think like like more games in the future should focus on doing stuff like that, like like giving experiences that really weren't possible. Like you couldn't do that on a PS4 or an Xbox One. Like the ability to render two fully realized, uh, uh, how to say worlds, 
on 4K, not possible. Definitely not possible for PS4 and Xbox Xbox One. So moving forward, I think if if like future games really want to push the current hardware, it's about making things you couldn't have made conceptually on on the last gen consoles. Okay. So, uh, did any yeah. of you medium yet, uh, Daniel? I've played the first hour. Dah sampai like the hotel, the apa the trailer hotel where. Uh, you meet this little scary girl and <laughs> and I can say I can say the Series S is handling it like a champ. Solid oh. 30 frames, 10, uh, 1440p 30 frames, solid. No frame drops at all. Oh, 1440p? Oh, yes. That's pretty uh, good. So like, that is really yeah, good. Yeah, like, because can, I think Phil Spencer said like 1440p will go high. Yeah, it is. It's doing its job and that's and it is not, there's no frame drops for iPlay. It's basically a good apa, uh, I don't know siapa nak tag uh, Microsoft or Booba Team for making that uh, making that good of a game right now. Uh, And nice, it's just the first nice. hour. Because like, there is like two sections of the dual world. It's seamless. There's no like, there's apa, uh, no lag between uh, both characters. Cool. So, so yeah, I agree Buhan. That is basic, uh, the medium I feel is the first truly nice gem in the title lah. Yeah. Okay, so there is, there's at least one Polish studio that got it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh yeah, I forgot. Besides... Bluebird is Polish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, besides some story, like, very, like story beats that uh, doesn't land because, yeah, they are a Polish studio. But mm-hmm. the gameplay, people are saying it's just solid already. Okay. Uh, Why did we talk about an Xbox Series S game again? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Simple. Uh, but ah, oh, did we talk about the story situation yet? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we still This... have time. We still have time. I'm looking at it. How how is okay. the story situation? Like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The PS5 digital edition has less space. No, no, PS5? no, no. No, is it the same? Yes. The same. Both, oh, okay. both digital and the standard version have 825 uh, gigabyte of storage. All right. And you can only use 667 gigabyte only. So so you can just install Warzone and Demon's Souls. That's it. Yes. That's <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, now, uh, Astro, you have Astro World for three games. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But so, the storage is and it's very very small and for me myself i i managed to get a full like in two hours Ooh. my god laughs like i uh thanks to the good folks at uh isa not isa Lenovo, they gave me a very nice SSD as a Christmas present for last year and now my storage is 512 as a as it should <laughs> Wait, so, you got um, an SSD on that I didn't realize mm-hmm. god <laughs> da, you, you got, should have seen the I, I showed you the box guy uh, yeah, I, I just saw the t-shirt I thought it was just the t-shirt no they gave they gave me an SSD nice okay. of them so now too much I have thing, Uh, <laughs> again this is the this is the disadvantage being stuck outside of KL especially when everything is in quarantine I can't get stuff being sent here <laughs> everybody say uh, oh uh, we cannot send outside KL sorry we have our career only in KL but then does Xbox <laughs> can install game on external SSD beside the SSD the Seagate things Uh, I've only so so the the 300 GB is for Xbox I've apa put it for apa nama for the Xbox Series games. The rest I'll put it on my the SSD. I see, man, see, man, see. This because it's kind of the same thing with PS5 because you can install uh, PS4 games on external storage, but that is only for PS4 game, not PS5 games. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. But you're not not gonna make use of those uh, loading screen. And technically, the game's gonna run similar yeah. to PS, uh, PS4 version because it's still oh, loading. Oh, damn. I think that the loading is better because I've because my place, my GTA 5 is on the as a external, my one tera external. 
and it loads yeah like i said a minute now so i think uh, digital foundry did the test as well they did a per run final fantasy 15 on external on the ps5 yeah memang loading times much better than before better but if you put it on SSD, it's gonna be way better. Yeah, that's much more faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so if if because the PS5 it has a has a Type C jack in front, can? Yep. Okay, so, oh, so like, does it does it <laughs> can that be used for the SSD or do you have to use the Type A ports at the back? Type A ports at the back. The front one oh. is for H. Is for I've only gotten to work my headset which I'm using right now. <laughs> on oh. that front one because so, i always because thought they... because i always thought since they have the type c port in front because type c the 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 transfer rate is higher than type a and so i was no, assuming they... it's not it... that yet it's not yet lah because um yeah i've tried putting it and then they, they gave me a warning you know you have to put it on the behind so excuse me ah oh, damn oh. usb a i'm fine for the external oh. ar used at the back one but oh, i haven't damn. tried E1, DSBC, I haven't tried that. Yeah, because I was thinking like, oh, if I can get a, an SSD, an external SSD, together with a USB-C connector and plug it in front, like, theoretically, that would give me 10 Gbps transfer speed. Theoretically. So I was assuming like, oh, maybe I can also load games very fast uh, we, from the external. Maybe someone could experiment that in the future. Yeah. But like Daniel said, like, it wouldn't uh, detect it in front, is it? For for me lah, it could uh, it, like it is like say it is uh, for uh, mileage may vary lah. Ah uh, okay okay. okay. So external sto- extended storage, yang using USB A. So yes, oh. if you put uh, the, because there's a two port in front lah, yeah, there's the USB A and USB C. If uh-huh. you put your extended storage in the front, it asks you to use it at the back. Oh. Yeah. Then, wow. The, yeah, I'm not sure because I haven't tried that. Maybe I, uh, I can try the USB C and let's, uh, any SSD. Uh, it's to know. Yeah, because yeah, theoretically it should give you good transfer speed because 10 GB. Because I used this on a PC before. I've used because my my motherboard has a USB 3.1 port, and I've done that where I use an external SSD together with a USB 3.1 cable, masuk the three point port, and. I've tested it with the software and it definitely gives me 10 Gbps. It's super fast, even from external. So I was assuming PS5 could do the same, but you know, we will see if anyone experiments with that. But then any extended storage, if you want to use, you can only use it with a PS4 game because PS5 uh, is yeah. in the, inside the SSD. And that's the, that's the so bummer. So what's the lah. point? That, like <laughs> can they they did a uh, the, the tear down again the official tear down they did show like oh this is a yes SSD port you can put there but not yet but not yeah, yet just, yeah yeah, yeah. They, they are waiting for the much faster standards of SSD and apparently it's not the case of oh all the SSDs will work they they they'll have a white list apparently so we'll have to wait we we don't know how the situation will turn out. Unlike uh, Xbox, which has, uh, oh, we are selling you a very expensive SSD memory card. Plug it in. <laughs> it's a bit rough for PS5, but I think it will be OEM based SSDs. So most likely it's gonna be priced a bit cheaper. Mm. But we'll see. We will have to see. Because uh, Western Digital, before they mentioned that the new uh, SSD SN850, yes. The Gen 4 SSD M.2 NVMe, right? Mm-hmm. They mentioned that mm-hmm. it's going to work on PS5. Oh, but yes, that, yes, I saw that, yeah. That one for a terabyte, is cost about 1,100. Oh, my God. <laughs> I that's, already a, that's already a <laughs> fraction of the PlayStation 5. So, my as well just <laughs> buy an external for Buy now. two PS5s. You get <laughs> two <laughs> SSDs. <laughs> Uh, see uh, at right now on the Shopee Mall official, and it's like four hundred and four hundred and fifty five ringgit for one. Like, my <laughs> God! So, but that one, uh, uh, Western Digital mentioned that it's gonna work on uh PS five, but Sony haven't update any uh firmware update that making that that slot usable yet. So, oh, damn! Right like now, it's not gonna work. So right now, you gotta download every time. <laughs> You need to reinstall a game. 
And can I talk about how troublesome is this to download the game? Oh, oh my explain, god! Explain, explain, yes. explain, oh, explain, I, please. Tamu, I, I, I understand the pain now. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll explain. So, uh, back then, can in the PlayStation 4 era, uh, you can download like let's say you, let's say you want to download all the PlayStation Plus games and so let's say for this month it's uh what? Great Fall, what? Tomb Raider and Great Fall. You can mm-hmm. just. Yeah. You can download both terus, and then it will like apa, gradually. I can download some sneezy lah. Tapi, in this is the caveat of the PlayStation Five, is that you have to download individually, so you will queue. Oh. So let's say, let's say lah, you want to download a, a Fortnite punya update, tapi you want to try Man Eater as well. <laughs> so let's say you download Man Eater first, that that Fortnite update won't update. It will be on queue. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, select, select the 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 man eater to make it uh put it on top of the list to download mm. it first. It's sequential downloading rather than having like like PS4 doesn't let you download like ten things, but they do let yeah. you multiple items on one go. Yeah, three things at a time. Uh. But five, including the DLC. You can only download one thing at a time. So if you yeah, let's say you DLC. download <laughs> DLC, DLC is uh like three hundred megabyte everything, but you're not gonna use it yet. You want to download like the other thing first. So you, if you didn't change your queue, so it's gonna download that thing first, and then on them both we download the next things. Every time you guys go on on the very many quirks and features of the PS Five. My excitement, <laughs> I, I, I'm more content with waiting for stocks. <laughs> Why? I think all these are firmware issues, lah. Mostly firmware ah, issues. Yeah. It so these, are, these all can be fixed in the future, lah, kan? Ah, but it uh, makes a less, uh, you say less attractive case to go buy, uh, over the, uh, over the price version of the PS5 from a scalpel or something. It is totally yeah, not worth it. Don't. Yeah, definitely don't. <laughs> I mean, PS5 is officially released here. Why do you want to pay more? Why officially you can buy it for less? Ah, <laughs> exactly, really... exactly. Ah. Like, uh, yeah. hold, hold on. Do, do you guys have any other points to put, put out or are we wrapping it up? Because we kind of go into the conclusion already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah so, uh, so, I, so, think, uh... I think, I think huh? I got one last question. One okay. last question. Because right. I right. heard, okay, I think this goes into the the download issue as well. It might be a separate issue. I heard the the console for some people lah. The sleep mode has some issues. Have you guys encountered anything with the sleep mode? But I I've heard some people say, oh, when they download something and put into sleep mode, they realize that when they come back, the download actually stop while sleep mode. Or some people like they put sleep mode while playing a game, and then they come back, the game has to be totally restarted, like as if you they quit the game and have to come back. So, have you guys faced anything like that when when putting console to sleep mode? I do actually, but <laughs> how about you? Do? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't have that issue. That uh, I don't have that issue. But oh, okay, but Brian, I'll add you one more issue because uh, our, one of our friends, uh, <laughs> Sansen from Twitter, she uh-huh. said her controller. Uh, doesn't charge well, so they. Oh yeah, also yeah, yeah! I've heard of that as well. Yeah, I heard of that. Putting it on sleep sometimes doesn't charge your controller. I've heard of that as well. Yes, ah, uh, she said there is a. She, she wants to because there is a what USB Type C can she can charge it there. It doesn't charge. Oh, <laughs> well, <damn. sleep> also. <laughs> but but regarding the download, uh, there's a slight problem that I see if uh. If you always put your PS5 on rest mode, sometimes you have to restart the PS5 because oh. <laughs> for the game for the game that I recently downloaded was uh, Fall Guys. Uh, my download was stuck at ninety seven percent. I was downloading. I was like, okay, uh, lagi lagi like a few minutes. So I was like, okay, tak apa, I buat something else first. But then it was like almost thirty minutes and it stayed at ninety seven percent. I was like, eh, kenapa tak jalan? But then I have to restart. <laughs> And then 
it's only then continue downloading not sure why oh damn <laughs> I, oh, okay, okay. I okay. don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I can feel Max with the enthusiasm about the PS5 drop. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I, I, what my case is, I've been putting my PS5 on rest mode. Like, I never close my PS5. Whenever I want to shut it down, I put it on rest mode. So, in terms of the argument, is probably my PS5 never shut down. I see, I see. Tapi Nashmi, do you know who, what console does that better? You know Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can even use your app to download the game. You can just press that. Oh, I want to download, let's say, Cyberpunk. Okay? Eh, so pagi dah siap. No issues. Yeah, actually, you can do that on PS5. Right? If you use the PS app uh, to download, you can do that as well. I And... can. I, I cannot for some reason. My <laughs> app is, like, think, backward. Okay. And you want to have a deeper problem now with the PS5. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> like we need to have this type of discussion, so that's why we need to have this discussion because the codes of feature of a, of a console of this console is like having it's like in carton. Did you say that the Nissan GTR? Every console is different. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't have that problem. I even there's a whenever the I finish a download something. When it's on less mode, it's gonna pop up on my notification. I oh, uh, this this game is ready to play. On my oh, phone. that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, but oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I cannot. Like I got that notification, but I cannot for for me download the games on my phone. Like to initiate there for some reason. I can. That's weird. And, uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay, I. <laughs> okay, okay. Let Let me add you one more thing on this about downloading games, right? Not just the PS5, the PS4 itself. Because of the redesign of the PlayStation Store, the Ooh. PlayStation Store website is buggy as hell and lack a lot of good features that was already there before. Like wish list is one thing. Okay. Uh, the one thing that bothers me is that for some reason, for some some for some browsers, if you click on the say okay, you click on one game right, and then you see okay the options of okay standard edition, digital edition, digital DLC, DLC, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all of those sometimes just just doesn't appear. It just no no picture. If there are pictures, sometimes it's like pixelated or very low res. Aduh. And the button to download or button to purchase it, something just doesn't load. Ah, that, that, that happens to me. That happened to me before, actually. So it I'm is looking, driving yeah. me insane every day because usually yeah. my workflow, of the, because I'm always on my PC, but if I want to get something sorted for the PS4, I can just go to the browser, pop, 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 pop. Okay, it's downloaded. Settle. Just wait until the... Until it stops words, you know, you know the PS4 sounds right when they yeah, start loading, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> and, and then it becomes quiet. Okay, it's probably done already. Now, not only do I have to withstand the the problematic issues that is the PS Store website, which has way too big of an icon, and most of the big icons are very not useful, and half of the page on the top home page. Is basically just an advertisement board. It's not even clickable. I see Hitman 3 right now. I cannot click on Hitman 3 to go by Hitman 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, I think I think that reminds me that when we speaking about the UI part, we did not uh when we did not talk about the PlayStation Store in the PS5 menu. How is it like? Is it better? Is it easier to use compared to PS4? Or is it just as clunky? Or have they improved it? You know, I can't comment this much because I rarely buy any digital game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, can, uh, I knew it. I knew. I knew. Najmi would say that he's a physical it. guy. That's not the bill. I mean, isn't that true? Are you more of a physical kind of person? Like you prefer physical copies? I mean, in terms of physical copy, yeah, but you made it sound a bit weird. Oh, I said physical guy. Sorry, sorry. Did. I honestly didn't see that. I just said it. Look, sorry, look sorry. sometimes, like, I sometimes swing physical, but mostly digital. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I prefer my girl's digital. Huh? 
Oh. 2D over 3D, baby. Uh, what what uh, about you, Daniel? Did you explore much of the PlayStation Store? Yeah, I store? did because yeah, yeah, I did. And how is um, it? How does it feel? It's like it's not like much. It's part of the UI basically because if you like, can kalau like you look at you have to press the button and then you load like, this side, you just drop down and you are it's instantly in the store now. Ah, uh, so so oh, like they say, like it's integrated into the PS5 menu now. Yes. Ah, okay, for better okay, or worse. Okay. <laughs> but is it easy to navigate or just as clunky? Uh, it's I think like the the experience that I have with with Matt just said, but except to yeah, except the loading gamba now is clearer. Tapi the the clunkiness that makes it yeah is there. Ah, okay, okay, it's okay. Still okay, kind of okay. loads up those images right at the background. Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. In other words, uh, Sony still hasn't figured out how to. Do a layout for a digital store. Man. No, in my opinion, the looks of it is a bit clunky in terms of the icon is huge. Really huge. Yeah. <laughs> But the smooth of this it is way smoother because like like Daniel said, you can just like uh, go down to the icon and it's not a diff, it's not a separate app. Because on PS4, mm. you open the PlayStation Store, it's, it's going to open a separate app and it's loading and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The PlayStation Store in PS5 is technically, it's on its home page UI. So you can access it smoother and you just mm. like, like go uh, uh, search your game or anything you want to buy. But the thing that I hate is the icon for everything, for every game is huge. So <laughs> it's like, you can see three games in terms of your main homepage and then you have everything is you need to scroll down and everything and it's a, still a bit clunky because before if you use PS4 you can search all the side thing and you can see all this new new free or demo about yeah. the game and everything but this time around you you, ne- you kind of need to scroll all the way down And if you press the R1 or R1 or L1, you can see the collection, the deals, the description, everything. It's the same with the issue with the power button. It's a lot more step and you have to learn, technically learn the the UI again. But then in terms of smoothness, everything is smooth. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So in conclusion... Uh, let's start with Dajvi Atedia. Dajvi, would you recommend someone <laughs> right now in Malaysia to buy, to get their hands on a PS5 or right, right. wait it now, wait it out? <laughs> My opinion probably going to make me sound like a PlayStation fanboy, which is I am, I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at least if you are up front with your bias, that's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. But... I would say yes if you could get hands on it on official price. If you yes. if you are paying more than two thousand and two hundred ninety nine for standard and a thousand and eight hundred and sixty nine for a digital, if you pay more, I would say no because of if you could get your hands on it if you manage to pay order it or I don't know you go to the store and somehow there's a one unit of PS5 there and you have the money. I'm gonna say yes. It is a very good console. They have backward con- compatible that you can play a lot of game. If you subscribe PlayStation Plus, you have the PlayStation Plus collection. The game runs way smoother. Uh, and then the exclusive, for example, Demon Soul is fun. Uh, and then if you uh have a lot of uh, media, we never talk about the media stuff because they have all those Netflix, YouTube, Apple TV, everything. Hmm. Ah, that's a given anyway. <laughs> that's a given already, so we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But then, it's technically a, a good version of, a better version of PS4, but with a clunky uh, firmware and interface. But, let's say if you're paying for 4,000 or 5,000 because of you're buying from Scapa, I would say... Kau sekolah tak? <laughs> this line, this line, this line. Left at this man, left at this man. He bought the PS5 for two, for three thousand five hundred. Okay, I'm I'm convinced from Najmi. I'm gonna go tell my wife to line up a gamer side out tomorrow. My wife will line up for me. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> hey, what about Daniel? What about Daniel? Um, as someone like. For a while, I've been like quite neutral because, like I said, like I I don't have feelings for the PlayStation Five because 
uh, the problem is that like for me again personally I don't have any feelings for this console like I when they announced it like I was watching it with my friends and oh look this looks so nice I mean when I saw it for the first time I was uh, shy and all so I would so like now like like maybe probably after some of us as well like the the feeling of ever uh, wonderment is gone for me like i did it really don't really as like it as say my own console there is the xbox because uh you know like the course and features it is it is interesting la, to say this it's a step um, forward la. <laughs> yeah it's a step forward for the console yes tapi and this is around. a big part that <laughs> no, they still fumble around a lot but mm. Uh, um, because it is like for me, again, when I when I saw the PlayStation Four back right then, like uh, that is a good one. The merch, wow, this is still so nice, and I feel so bad for my PlayStation Four right now. Like I put it in my bag, until like my carry bag for the game <laughs> inside. I just crying sleep as as he probably thought I have replaced him with the better one. <laughs> <laughs> eventually yes tapi like for now uh, I will, i'll say the opinion of Mila, for now it's not really a good one a good uh avenue to purchase it because you know what what reminds me of this PS, playstation 5 right now the playstation wow. 3 when it launched oh. because the the arrogance the panama uh the pricing so it reminds me of Back then, when I was watching X Play, because they don't enjoy the the first view on the PlayStation Three. Yeah, that's that is the feeling I'm getting it right now again. Ah, uh, it was that whole feeling, like uh, Sony was very confident. Oh, this generation, kita punya, we're gonna win uh, this gen. Like we don't even need to work that hard. Is is, is it? So you're looking, like that kind of vibe, lah. Uh uh-uh. I see. I see. I, ironically, X X Play is coming back as well, Tony. So this is a, quite a weird throwback now. Deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> Not only a shout out to X Play, this is a plug for X Play. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so Bohan, oh. are, are you really convinced to have your wife line up <laughs> and get you a PS5? Honestly, <laughs> let's say lah, let's say if uh. suddenly tomorrow after subuh I open my phone and I see Tony had decided to ship the third batch tomorrow for Malaysia, I still won't ask my wife to get it. I would say, say, sayang, just wait. It's okay. Don't need to like line up during MCO for all this stuff yet. I can wait because like the only game I truly want to play is Demon Souls. And I'm thinking like I can wait because because honestly, like not a lot of people, are, you, you can't spoil me Demon Souls. I played it on PS3. So it's not new to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the people who beat Demon Souls like five times. I love that game. So, new to stuff, me, like <laughs> <laughs> new stuff, to faster me, loading. <laughs> to me, it's still like um, for, it's basically a console with no new games yet for me. Like everything yes. I want to play, I can still play on PS4 and PC right now. So I'm fine. Like when they finally come out with something, let's say a uh, God of War Ragnarok, ah uh, then then I will consider because yes, I do not want to be spoiled of that game. I have to play that game. Or, or the next Horizon game. I love Horizon as well. So when those two come out, then I'll be like, oh man, I gotta get it. But for now, like, I, I like the idea, but I'm not willing to buy it yet. I'm willing to eat some Burger King to win the console, but not buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but adding to that, that's the thing. The Switch release has a system seller game which is Breath of the Wild. The yeah. PS5 like, doesn't have any system seller yet. True, true, true. I think I think Demon Soul is a good system seller, but because it's not entirely new, so like no, like, yeah. So like pe- people have played it already, so there's nothing really saying like, ah, like, oh, I really have to get PS5 lah. Like maybe <laughs> if they came yeah. out, if it came out launch with let's say the new God of War. Like, Ooh, that would have yeah. been a system seller. That, that would have been a system seller. Exactly. That was, should have happened for Xbox with Halo Infinite, but <laughs> I got it. Yeah, <laughs> both, the, the funny thing is, both the current-gen consoles came out without any system sellers. 
like like they 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 had plans to release the console but then covid happened so a lot of development had to be delayed so we don't have system sellers yet but that thing we can't blame any of them lah Just yeah that's true yeah, it's, a it's a situation lah yeah. it's a situation but then the way i see it yet yeah, is directly the, uh, the what you said yes there's no system seller yet and i mm. believe once they give you let's say go for another and that is the time where people are gonna like really excited for it and i don't think that is gonna come anytime soon i don't think go for coming this year yeah same no. i think it's the next year game i think it's the next year game they mentioned that it's coming this year the desert like 2021 but i don't think it's coming this year it's yeah i don't i don't believe them i think it's get we're waiting for a, a delay announcement from them <laughs> Uh, we don't want to have we don't want cyberpunk to happen twice <laughs> <laughs> you know what 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 about you Mac then have, are you convinced to get FPS 5 now or okay. how do you feel okay so answering the question that I've asked all of you yeah, for the PS5 for me it's not a rather a question of if it's rather a question when. of when oh like uh, dude I need to get a PS5 for work <laughs> I know, <laughs> true. I know true. This, this is quite a privileged thing to say, but I still don't have a PS5 for work. You know, you know what, now you just mentioned it, I just realized I also need it for work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the main reason I need one, because, you know, uh, we, we have friends at, at Sony that can supply us with the PS5 games when those came up, comes out, and they kept bugging me, eh? you guys have PS5, right? Mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, but it's fine. They've lent us for a bit, so thanks. Still, yeah. Uh, and then the prop, uh, like other than that, I do need to take. A, I, I do. I am interested with the PS5 exclusives come coming soon. Like, if Ratchet and Clank comes out this year, I'm gonna. Oh man, oh, uh, Ratchet, I, 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 that'll get get me like that. But. Uh, Uh, Horizon if come uh, comes out this year, then, hmm, yeah, I should I should get a PS5 now, and to make problems worse, people I follow on Twitter, my mutuals, a lot of them have PS5s. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I I I I feel reasonably pressured. Also, Sony likes to pressure people to get a PS5 from the PS Plus games. Oh, you know this game that is available on PS4, not for PS Plus. You need to get PS5 for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was that... so disappointed to find out Control for Asia is not part of the PS Plus free, uh, apa ni, free offer. So yeah, disappointed. But, but adding to that, at least you can still redeem the game via web browser. That is oh, true, yeah. yeah. Don't forget That's... that, everyone. Don't yeah, forget yeah. that. You can still redeem that. Uh, bitch, uh, the, the web browser is a hassle, but it is possible. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible. Well, worth the hassle. For uh, a game like Control, worth the hassle. Uh, But yeah, great the, game. The, the, there's a lot of like, like, like external pressures for me to get a PS5, and it will happen eventually. But whatever that I've heard throughout this almost two hour, oh, it's already past two hour, <laughs> two hour of recording <laughs> have have calmly, uh, calmly put me at a good expectation of it's okay. Let them iron out the quirks. It's not <laughs> worth the 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 the. the The crazy things that I need to do to get a PS5, especially with me currently staying outside KL, which is the <laughs> real disadvantage. Of everything, a lot, a lot of factors are stopping me from getting a PS5. A lot of factors are um, pressuring me to get a PS5. And man, I'm I'm getting tested day by day. But at least for this podcast, have like rejuvenate my willpower by at least 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> five months stops. Five months. I can last. I can. I can do this. If I could say anything, uh, if anything, I would say you don't miss anything if you have PS5. Yeah, now. you don't miss anything at all. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I, I can, but I can get. No, the, the thing about if I got a PS5 right now, I was totally buy Hitman 3. Get everything because all my collection <laughs> is on on PS4, right? I can get all my levels and everything. And you know what? I'm fully content because on PC it's much cheaper. I got all the content as well. So yeah, I mm -hmm. free upgrade on PS4. If you buy PS4 version, will you get free upgrade on PS5? Yeah, yep, that's the upgrade free. Yeah, hmm. if you buy, nice, free, nice. Then you get at least later if you down the line if you get the PS5, you, at least you get the free upgrade. 
Yeah, yeah. That was my 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 reason to get it on on PS4, PS5. Nice, then the PC, nice. <laughs> the PC. Cheaper. Yeah, PC is cheaper, and I got all the collection anyway. So, yeah. So for yeah. I I can last for at least five months. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Yeah, let, let's see how long for Matt to kecundang within the five month period. Yeah, if you see me one month uh being absent on Twitter, that's when I I have yes withdrawal or something. <laughs> but but yeah, at the end of the day, it is not possible to get a PS5 anyway right now. Yeah, to- totally not possible. Buying for scrapper, right? but I would say put that as a uh what do you call it as a tanda lah, tanda tuhan lah. Orang kata tujuh. Because because. It does to me if you like like queuing, uh, do tiga pagi and the risk of getting COVID and everything. I don't think it worth the worth this, man. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't guys, do that. Yeah, listen to that, guys. Don't die. Don't don't die for PS5. It's not. It's yeah, not don't do it. Your apa se- apa orang yang positif ni lost sense of taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you become like me. Don't. <laughs> Dude, like dude, uh, dude, the I, worst part is the quarantine. You guys don't want to go through it. The quarantine yeah. starts. Look, just if you guys can, you guys can afford to wait for PS5. Join, join my call. We we are waiting for PS5 to not only get <laughs> to get more available. We are waiting. Dapat PO dia PS5 lepas tu positif kena pergi quarantine. Nak bawa PS5 P A C yang bulu. Tak ada aja. Uh, tak boleh. <laughs> tak boleh. Tell me aja lah. Do, don't 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 risk the physical uh physical orders, especially if you is gonna be involved crossing states. It's also illegal <laughs> right now, so <laughs> you can do this, guys. You can do this. I'm I'm doing this. I'm doing this as well. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this, man. Uh, but P- PS Five withdrawals anonymous. Let's go. Put a hashtag on it. <laughs> by by the time February, I'll be joining you guys anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but. but Itulah, it, aku nak tambah sikit in regarding of uh-huh. uh, conclusion of uh, next as in current gem console. Uh, if you already have a PS4, I think it's already gonna waste your time anyway. But if you're not sangat next gen, I would say if you tak ada Xbox, I recommend go for Xbox because of the Game Pass. Because in terms of what you can play, there's more there. But if you already hmm. have both Xbox One, And both PS4, I think it's just like ah, sit this one out lah. Hmm. Yeah, wait it out until more stocks are available and and apa the 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 scalpers ear situation is resolved. And for the time being, go to your PS4s, rub the dust off. <laughs> Please put a little put it tender in and care bag. on the <laughs> say it, say a uh, whisper to it. It's fine. You are still you can still wear like a jet for the couple of months being. You are you are still worth it. You are still useful. Uh, so yeah, that's that's our thoughts on the PlayStation Five right now. It's pretty, uh, let's wrap this up. Uh, starting with Bohan, can you promote your social links and where can we find you? Anything you have up? Okay, guys. Uh, so you guys can find me on Twitter with my username Burhan Place. That's B U R H A N P L A Y S, all in one word. Uh, and I'm also you can also uh take a look at my YouTube channel, which is Cosmic K O S M I K. I do reviews of video games there. So that's it. Uh, the next time Burhan's coming here, he'll get a new Discord name as well. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's me where can we find uh, you so you can search me on youtube channel as well the kampung net mm. the kampung kampung village uh, so I do <laughs> I I tembak peletau juga dekat situ <laughs> <laughs> but yeah if you on twitter you can just uh, add najmi at najmi so yeah if you want to look for uh, PS5 review I think you can just Look it up on YouTube, lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. We, we'll link it. We'll link in the description. Daniel. All right. So you can follow me and my gaming exploits at twitter.com as Flaky F L four K Y. Uh, I will be having a review up at the time of this recording of a certain game that I've mentioned like three times already. Uh, Cyberpunk. 
or something nice. like that. Nice. Uh, it will come out this weekend. Uh, well, it will be out by the time this episode came out anyway. So, yeah, it's already like I can tell you that the word count is already one thousand five hundred. It can go more. So, it can go more. <laughs> Uh, I thought you were going to plug the PS5 review you're gonna put up, but yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, that PS5 review will also come out like a uh, days, like a few lineup reviews I've uh, line up, like medium as well. That's also coming out as well, and also this one, uh, this weird box that that's made by Magic and whatever. <laughs> Uh yeah, and you guys can find me at Macronos M E C K R O N O S. Uh, almost everywhere. Uh, except from some CD sites that I have, did not register that. Please don't <laughs> register that name at CD sites, please. I don't want to do that. No defense. God damn it! Second time. Ah. Ah. Uh, you can find a review of Hitman Three. On GameMatters.com, we will talk about Hitman 3 in the next live dialog. You can be sure of that, and other stuff will also come to dialog. The Game Matters podcast as well as GameMatters.com. You will find out soon enough. And that's it. That's the PS5 special. And uh, uh any last words? Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> what is that the safe word or my cat I have yeah. only two words I have only two words but motors <laughs>